The minister is on a national awareness campaign to inform Namibians about the oil and gas as well as green hydrogen sectors. Aluendo has also called for investment into oil refineries to caution the cost and provide cheaper oil to the local economy. He emphasized that Namibians should not expect cheap fuel due to high extraction costs from deep waters and crude oil refinery expenses. Now local content now says as much as possible these local services or these services and these goods and services that must be provided must be provided by Namibian business people. It cannot be that all of it will be provided from outside the country. So not only it must be provided within the local economy, but it must also, as far as possible, be provided by local entrepreneurs, by local business people. The minister warns oil and gas are non-renewable resources and unstable market which could plug the countries in an economic crisis if other sectors are ignored. Government expects to earn 35% in taxes, 5% in loyalties, plus a 10% shareholding by state entity Namcor. Alwendo says the recently launched Sovereignty Wealth Fund will help Namibia save for any days. On his part, Kabango East Governor Bonfatius Wakutumo says his region welcomes oil and gas explorations with open arms. However, Wakutumo was quick to point out that environmental management should come first for Namibia. And we put policies, mechanisms in place as how do we preserve our natural resources. We don't need to be told and to be lectured by anybody in whatever capacity as how should we take care about our environment. Chris Kupolo, NBC News, Rundu.